For the next section of our project, we finished. Uh, we just finished tracing it, and now what we're going to do is we're going to choose some colors to work with. In a previous session, we learned about colors. We learned that we have three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And we learned that when we mix our primary colors together, we get what's called the secondary colors here in this middle row. So you have red and yellow that make orange when mixed together. You have blue and red, and together they make violet. And then blue and yellow mixed together, you get green. So you are going to get yourself a palette, and you're going to also need a palette paper. And then you're going to choose two primary colors. I am going to start with red. And I'm going to start with yellow. Okay. So as we start with red and yellow, we're going to then need a paintbrush. But we are actually not going to use a paintbrush. In the past, we have been using a paintbrush similar to this one to do our color mixing charts. But since we're doing Aboriginal art, we're going to use a tool um, t different than a paintbrush to kind of dot the paint on, like the Aboriginals um, did and still do. And you're going to start, take your Q-tip, and you're going to dip the tip of it into the paint that you want. Hold it straight up and down because all the squishy stuff is on the top, right? And if you um, squish it down um, on the top, you'll get a nice round dot. So I'm just going to push this up so we can see it. Set that there so we can see that. And I'm going to start on my kangaroo. When you do this, get the paint right on the tip, and you're going to start by dotting it inside of your black line. Okay, we want that black line to be the outside edge. So you're going to just dot right along the inside part of it. Make your dots nice and neat. Show a little bit of the brown bet between it because we want to see that um, tree bark like material like we talked about in our PowerPoint. Okay, and just do a nice neat job. Trace all the way around the perimeter. The perimeter is the outside edge, right? We're not coloring the inside of it. We're not smearing back and forth. We're just dotting just like the Aboriginals would. Okay, and try to do a nice neat job. Now some places, like right here on my foot, you can see that I'm not going to have any area to go back in there. So we'll talk about that in just a second when we get to our next color. Okay. And there's no need to push hard. You just gently tap the paper, kind of. Because um, if you push hard, you're going to ruin your Q-tip, and then you'll have to get a new one. Um, but I, as you'll see, I can do this whole project here with one Q-tip. So you really don't need more than one. So try to do a nice, neat careful job with just one and dot those q-tip dots gently and follow right along that black line and some places you might not be able to get close to it like right there on the nose of my kangaroo um, I couldn't fit one in there because there just wasn't enough room and you'll have to make little artistic decisions like that of where to dot and where not to dot. Now this is a careful part here. Try not to get your hand smushed into your paint. And one thing you can do is you can put your finger there like that so that you don't dribble your hand through your paint because you don't want to smear all those nice little dots. Okay. So as you can see, I'm finishing off my red here. And once I get into this tail, I'm actually not going to have a whole lot of room to go back with my second color because the tail is so thin. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of finish this up. And sorry if my hand's in the way, but that's the nature of trying to teach something about holding your tools straight up and down and um, not being able to turn it like that. Okay. Now, um, over here I've got paper towel and I kind of swiped my color off on my paper towel so I could start my next color. Now my next color, I'm going to take my, um, my red, I'm going to put a little bit over here by my yellow and I'm going to mix my red into my yellow to get a nice orange color because remember we're mixing our secondary colors. So we're not using our secondary colors out of the tube. I'm not using orange out of the tube. I'm mixing my own orange right here. And orange is going to be my second color. 
Okay. And I'm just going to start dotting right here where I left off. And you should have a second row. Okay. On the inside of your secondary color. Now, is everyone going to start with red? No, I could have started with yellow. Whoops. I could have started with uh, whatever other colors I might use. Like, let's say I wanted my secondary color mixing to be all about purple. Uh, then I would have started with blue, or I would have started with uh, red, and then continued with blue, or something like that. But here I was doing red and red and yellow, and so I'm making orange as my secondary color, and I'm putting that in as my second row here. Okay. I'm just continuing on my kangaroo. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way around the edge here. Now at this point I'm to my weaker color. I'm going to take my um, my little q-tip here. I'm going to swipe it off on my paper towel so I don't get a bunch of um, paint all over my hands. Okay, And at that point if I touch it it's not too bad. It's not too messy. And I'm going to do my third row of color. Now my third row of color obviously will be my yellow. So if you don't have any pure yellow left on your palette you'll have to put some new yellow on. But otherwise, um, I got I still have some clean yellow there. So I'm going to use that clean yellow, and I'm going to do my next row. Okay. Now at this point, I might be running out of room in some places, but I want to try to keep a nice pattern around the perimeter here, like that. Now I'm done with my yellow. I'm going to move back to my red, my first color. So I'm just going to switch my my q-tip around and use my red to do my next dots here. And now I'm going to just kind of swipe it off again. and go back to my orange and I'm going to put one little yellow dot right in the middle Boop. there we go so I've got my whole kangaroo done now I've used one q-tip for the whole kangaroo and I'm actually going to set that q-tip aside because I might end up using it again later um, but that concludes our part of just um, our first guy, the kangaroo there.